Hi, this is Amy, and I'm wondering if you have ever been to a conference or a session or something like that, and someone's given you a link that went to a page that looked like this, and you were able to click the button that says make a copy and get a copy of the teacher's file for your own use. It's stored in your Google Drive, and it's really nice because now you can go back and find this tool or idea later on. Well, I want to show you how to make one of those links for yourself today because you might have times when you want to give someone a copy of one of your files without having them click File, Make a Copy. So let's go through the process. The first step is going to be to change the sharing settings on your file from private. So we're going to click the blue share button and then we're going to go down to advanced and we're going to change the link so that it's on anyone with the link can view and then we'll click save on anyone with the link can view. And once we've done that, we'll click done and now we're ready to make our copy link. So the first step is going to be to look at the URL of the file. Everything that you open in your Chrome browser and any browser has a web address, and so does this file. When I go all the way to the end of the web address, I see this slash edit. Sometimes when I go to other files, like for example, a slides file, I might see more text than that at the end. It might not just be slash edit, it might be slash edit and then some other information. For example, here this is some more information about what slide we're on within the slide deck, but it doesn't matter. If I want to make a copy link, I'm going to take everything after this, that last slash where it says edit, and I'm going to get rid of it and type copy. So let's go do this to our classroom design file. We're going to go to the end. We're going to get rid of edit slash anything that comes after that, and now we'll just type copy. Now we're going to select over that whole link. I like to triple click, tap, tap, tap. We'll select the whole entire thing. And I'm going to hold down Control and press, press C or Command C on a Mac on my keyboard so that that's what's sitting on my clipboard. Now I'm going to go to a new tab and I'm going to paste in that link with the slash copy at the end and hit enter. So now I'm looking at the copy link. Remember, before we shorten our URL, this is where we want to be, looking at our copy link. So now, if I put this address onto my website or I email it to someone, they're going to get this special make a copy page. They're going to be able to click make a copy and it's going to go into their Google Drive. They will have to be logged in, but other than that, that's all they'll have to do. But I want to make it even easier for my class. Let's say I'm going to do this as a teacher. So I'm going to shorten the URL. So I've shortened it now and I've got that URL sitting on my clipboard and now I can just use something like crafty text or whatever kind of tool you prefer to put that short URL out so that students can type it in. So you can display with crafty text that makes it really big on the screen. You could write it on the board or anything else you want to do with that. Now, if you don't want to use a goo.gl, which just gives you random, you know, letters and sometimes there's an I or a one and you can't tell the difference, then you can use something like bit.ly, which is what we use a lot of the time. And bit.ly will actually let you customize the URL. So this is just another Chrome extension called bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y. And so let's call this classroom dash design. It does have to be unique. Yours will be B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash, but then you can change the end of it as long as you can come up with something unique. So sometimes I put F T dash for fried technology and usually that makes it unique. So FT dash classroom dash design will give you a copy link of the file that we're looking at today. And if you use this for your classroom, then it will give your students a copy link to whatever you need them to be seeing. So I hope that helps you learn to make a copy link and uh, have a great day. Bye bye.